Um, so, this week, what I'm going to do. Um, me and my partner are going to try and make some um, little animal pouches, like Joey pouches, um, for the animal rescue places. So I'm going to go to my fabric store and get some um, natural materials for it and um, make some little pouches for Joey's, sugar gliders, bandicoots, everything like that. Um, they need... Um, they're in like dire need of some pouches and back wraps and stuff like that so I'm not the best sewer uh, my partner's a better sewer than I am but um, yeah I'm gonna do that today and see how many we can get done uh, I want to work on my maned wolf as well and work on those um, little animals for the wires fund um, so I'm thinking a kangaroo uh, platypus um, Koala and um, oh my god, what else was there? Another one. I can't remember. <laughs> I have to go through my um, molds and see what I have. Uh, there was another one, but I forgot. I have them written down somewhere. Um, but anyway, I'm going to try and do that today. And anything else? I'm not sure what else. So I'll probably do be doing a lot of casting today. Um, which is always takes a little while, but uh, yeah, hoping to donate 150 from each doll to Wires, um, and they'll help with the animal rescues or little burned animals, um, and ones that don't have uh, parents anymore. Um, so yes, that is my goal today, uh, and we'll see how much I can get done, I guess. Mm. Anyway, let's start doing some stuff. I might also add, it is really smoky here today in Melbourne as well. Um, I'm trying to get some footage of it, because the last vlog I don't think I really got that much footage. But yeah, it's really, really smoky here, um, so uh, I kind of have to keep the doors and stuff closed as well. Uh, I think the wind turned the other way during the night, so the smoke's coming along this way. Um, but at least it's really cold um, and it's raining here in Melbourne so I'm not sure if it's actually raining over in the fire affected areas but um, I hope it is <laughs> and it seems to have sort of either burnt itself smaller or um, the rain had something to do with it I don't know anyway I'm gonna go do some stuff <laughs> Um, smoke has cleared up a little bit today, but it's not supposed to fully clear up till Friday. Um, it got really bad last night. You couldn't even really see. Um, so like you can see, like I live in a court and you can see like the hills over there. Uh, and you couldn't even see that. You couldn't even see the trees down the road last night. Um, so we had to keep all the doors and windows closed yesterday. Um, then basically stay inside. Um, I took some photos, so I'll try and insert them here somewhere so you can see. Um, so it's cleared up a little bit today, but it is still very smoky um, in Melbourne, that is. Um, so today, what I'm going to do, I cast the kangaroo. Uh, I've, I've got all the parts waiting to be painted and put together. Uh, cast a platypus, same that needs to be painted and put together. Um, 
I did a little bit of work on my main wolf, so that's ready to be put together as well. Um, and I think with the koala one, I need I might just sculpt that out of Sculpey. Not too sure yet. Um, maybe I'll do it out of monster clay and mold it. I'm not sure. It'll be smaller anyway. Uh, <clears throat> um, but I'll show you some of the fabrics that I got for Joey pouches that we're going to make for they're in pretty desperate need of Joey pouches so um, I just got some flannel um, uh, just uh, more flannel cotton uh, bits uh, and then for the outer pouches just some minky fabric and um, some polar fleece this is four dollars so I got all this polar fleece so I'm going to cut out some stuff today as well and um, and then it should be ready to start sewing um, and then uh, I can also start some work on um, the bodies for the kangaroo and the platypus. Um, I'm going to do this as an eastern grey because they're the ones that have been affected. Mostly uh, the reds are, we don't really have reds down here, uh, I think there's a little bit of red kangaroos in New South Wales, but in Victoria we don't really have reds, we've got east and greys. Um, reds are more central and upper. Um, so, yes, I will do that today. I have to edit my video for the Kitsune dolls. I have two Kitsune dolls going up on Friday, I think this Friday, um, which would already be up. Uh, they are the Sun and Moon Kitsunes. I decided not to give them names, um, just Sun and Moon. Um, and like I said, they're available as a pair for a, a bit of a cheaper price, or you can choose which one you want. Um, they'll be available in a, in a drop down box on the listing. Um, and yeah, so that is hopefully going up this Friday. So I'll be editing one video, which is the um, Sun Kitsune, and then next week I'll do the Moon Kitsune, how it made that one. Um, and. Yeah, so that's pretty much what's on the agenda for today, um, and yeah. <laughs>
bits for jelly pouches. Um, so there's like in, in, inner pouches and then outer pouches. The inner pouches have to be a cotton and the outer can be something a bit nicer, <coughs> a bit softer. Um, so they all need to be sewn up. There's extra, extra small to medium. Um, so hopefully I'll get some of that done today. I have to look at the... This should be pretty straightforward to sew, but um, let's try and make some. Uh, what else did I do yesterday? Um, I got my platypus bits cut out off for the faux fur, so that'll be the underbelly, and then obviously the rest of it will be brown. And um, I also got the body cut out for a kangaroo, um, so they might not be the right colour, but eastern greys are grey, um, and they have so I'm gonna. Uh, trim all of the tip, black tip off and then that particular fur has a, um, a texture that is very similar to um, kangaroo fur so once it's clipped it'll be a pretty good base color and then I can add some browns and stuff because some they have a bit of brown um, on the on their back um, but they're mostly gray hence eastern grays um, and then uh, I got my ferret armature ready to be put in and so that ferret is ready to be put together uh, painted up platypus so we have a platypus head uh, I might add a bit of brown to the bill because um, they're not entirely that black uh, they have a little bit of brown on them sometimes so I will add a little bit of brown to that uh, and also my kangaroo is ready to be put together as well so it's all happening so I think what I'll do is I will, because these ones I already had moulds for, I could cast it pretty quickly and start working on them. Whereas any of other Australian animal I haven't sculpted anything. So um, I think what I'm going to do is put those two up um, and then I might sculpt a koala out of monster clay, mould it and cast it. And then um, I could make like a couple of koalas because um, I know koalas and kangaroos are like the most popular animals in Australia but there's more there's more than just them um so I think I'm going to do that um but I want to get these two finished first before I start sculpting a koala uh the main wolf I it's curing over there um I attached everything to the armature then we're doing a different technique for the body for this one um so it's yeah curing over there uh, it's going to be the same sort of technique as my Okapi doll. So if you want to know how I made the body for the Okapi, it's over on my Patreon as well for $5 and up. And you can learn how I did it there. Uh, so yeah, I think that's pretty much the go for today. Um, I do want to get these um, pouches done so I can give them to the volunteers to send off to where they need it. Um, but I don't know how much time I have. A week goes so quickly. Um, but yeah, I also wanted to get some videos done so I could have, um, a little, little bit of backlog. I have some Naruto opening, box opening videos that I can, that are filmed and I just need to edit them. Um, but yeah, my Sun Kitsune video is done, so it's done early and that'll be up this Friday and then the Moon one will be up next week. Um, and then... My Kurama is sitting on the floor, waiting over there. <laughs> waiting, waiting, waiting. He's put on the back burner. Um, but there's not that much to do left to do on him, so I do want to get it done. Um, it's just a lot of hand sewing for the tails because they're thin. Um, they're a bit hard to put through the sewing machine, uh, so a lot of hand sewing. Um, and yeah. So that's pretty much on the agenda today. Um, but yeah, maybe I can get this pile done or something. Uh, and yeah, let's see. <laughs>
morning, around 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, so, what's on the agenda for today? Uh, so, yesterday I'll show you what I did. Um, so, I started work on a uh, main fox. So, that's coming along nicely. I'm trying a different method um, for the body, but i probably just stick to my method because it seems to work better for the way I work. Um, I like uh, machine sewing things um, and making the body differently. Um, but I mean, it's good for um, different materials and stuff, uh, so I will still keep experimenting with it, but um, just to make things a bit more diverse and um, let me do different things as well. But um, yeah, so it's coming along nicely. Um, I still, it looks a bit messy at the moment, but I still have to sort of shape it um, so um, it has more of a maned wolf type body um, so yeah so that's I'm gonna try and finish that sewing today um, I made a few joey pouches um, so there's like the outer pouch and this, this is extra small size um, and I've made two inserts so they go inside and fold over the top um, my sewing machine isn't that great so when you start actually looking and sewing fabrics, you realise it is old. Um, but it works great for faux fur. I've never had a problem with it and I've never had, you know, any problems. But when you're sewing um, fabrics and you can see that it's not doing what it should. Um, so, yeah. Might look at getting a new one at some point but yeah so it takes a long time um the sewing machine struggles to get through some polar fleece uh because it's a bit thick for it um but it works i'll continue doing some more and um see how it turns out but yeah so we've got three so far and a whole pile left um i've my ferret is waiting to be sewn up um, it's over there in the background somewhere, you probably can't see it. I don't know if you can see it, it's there somewhere. Um, so that's sewing, ready to be sewn up, um, but that will probably be the last thing I'll sew up. Um, uh, and then my, um, kangaroo and platypus are ready to be put together. Um, I did their armatures yesterday, so they were curing overnight. Um, and now they can be put together and wait for some more curing. Uh, so that's pretty much the agenda today. I'm gonna try and finish off uh, sewing this fox up, wolf, I mean, um, and see how it looks. If I don't like it, then I'll we'll redo the body. <laughs> uh, so yeah, there you go. That's on the agenda for today. <laughs>
today's Friday, the last day of holidays. Um, so yesterday I pretty much did most of the work on the um, main wolf. Um, sewed him up, trimmed him, put fur on him. I need to do the feet and then add the black markings here and any other details. And then that will be finished. Um, the platypus is almost finished as well. I need to sew him up and it doesn't take much to add the fur to the head because it's only a really small area. Um, and kangaroo as well is coming along. So that's waiting to be sewn up as well. Um, so yeah, it's all coming along. And um, I haven't done... Oh, and the ferret. Can't forget the ferret. A little ferret as well. So he's waiting to be sewn up as well. Um, but that will be the last one that I do anyway before anything. Um, so yes, plan is to finish the main wolf off um, and have that available. One of my patrons have contacted me about it, so uh, they get first access to the main wolf. Uh, but if not, it will go up in my shop. Um, so if you want early access to my work, um, you can get it for two dollars. Um, uh for the lowest tier and you'll get access to all of my work um over on my patreon link will be in the description um but yeah today's a warm day so uh hopefully the fires don't get too much worse um but yeah so i guess i will start doing some stuff today uh it's gonna be a quiet one anyway but um yeah i can start doing some stuff <laughs> It's a, it's a long one this time, um, but it won't be this long again until I get uh, holidays again. Um, but I'll show you what I did uh, for the day. Uh, finished off my main wolf, so I added the the black on the on the body, on the legs, and um, I'm just gonna get it, let it dry and then uh, take some photos of it and edit them. So a little look at the main wolf. Um, so like I said, one of my patrons uh, showed some interest in it, so uh, they will have uh, early access to the main wolf, so if you would like early access to any of my work, you can get it for as little as $2. Um, and then, I mean that's pretty much all I did, I had to, uh, I ended up airbrushing the, the black on, uh, and I had to do it in, in the garage with my big compressor because the little one was scared. The little one was scaring my cats, um, so I had to stop and uh, I had to do it elsewhere, away from them, um, because apparently it's just really, really scary. So that's that, and I didn't really get to film it, So, um, but I'll talk about it in uh, the Patreon, Patreon video that I'm going to do for the main wolf. Um, and then... Yeah, just going to work on uh, sewing, a lot of sewing that I need to do, so it's not really that exciting to watch sewing, so I'll just do that off camera, because sewing is boring. Uh, anyway, we have a little bit of rain here in Victoria, which is good. Um, hopefully get some of the bushfires. It's only a tiny bit of rain, so it's probably not even that significant, um, but it's a little bit. Uh, but anyway, thank you very much for watching and thanks to my patrons for supporting me I appreciate it uh, I have a couple of new things going up soon uh, the next one will be up um, if not 
already up is a uh, body tips video uh, for art dolls so that should be available for my five dollar and up people um people supporters um and yeah that's pretty much it you can check me out on instagram and facebook at creatures of net and my shop at creatures of net.com and i'll catch you in the next one bye <laughs>